I'm so happy to see you today. Today is our last morning meeting before summer. <gasps> what? It's crazy. Time is absolutely flying. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm super excited for our last morning meeting today and I hope you are too. Let's jump right into it. Let's start with our calendar. Today is Thursday, May 7th, 2020. Today is Thursday, May 7th, 2020. Try it by yourself. Today is what day of the week? It's Thursday, what month? May, what number? Seven, what year? 2020, very good. It is Thursday, May 7th, 2020. Let's count the days until Mother's Day. Ready, count. One, two, three. We only have three more days until Mother's Day. I hope you guys are excited. We made some awesome Mother's Day gifts. We had an activity video that we had on Tuesday. And in our morning meeting video, we also made this awesome heart card for our mothers as well because we know that Mother's Day is coming up in three days. Now we can celebrate our moms, our stepmoms, aunts, grandmas, whoever we want, and I think that's awesome. I'm going to be posting another video later today where we are celebrating Father's Day. So Father's Day is not actually until June, which is next month, but we are going to be making this awesome Father's Day craft just to get ready for Father's Day, even though it is a month away, just to give you guys an awesome idea on what you could do for Father's Day to celebrate the fathers in your life, celebrate your dad, your stepdad, your uncle, your grandpa, whoever you want, we are going to celebrate that awesome man in your life. Now, let's move on and let's count the days until Memorial Day because that's the other holiday that we have this month. And that is on the 25th. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We have 18 days until Memorial Day. Now Memorial Day is when we remember all of the awesome veterans that have shaped our country into what it is today. So we are going to make this awesome Memorial Day craft today. We are making this flag and then we are writing, showing our red, white, and blue to say thank you. Now this is going to be an awesome craft. And I'm really excited to do it with you guys. Now, since we will also not be here in July, since school is over in July, we could also do this craft for the 4th of July. So I'm really excited for that as well. Now, let's move on to our days of the week. Our arrow is pointing to Thursday because today is Thursday. If we look above Thursday, we see yesterday was Wednesday. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday, very good, let's sing our song. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Let's do it again. Days of the week, days of the week, Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Very good, I'm so proud of you. Let's move right along to our months of the year. Our arrow is pointing to May because of this month is May. Last month was April. This month is May, next month is June. So June is when we celebrate Father's Day. I showed you that awesome Father's Day craft that we are going to do. And then after June, we have July. So we know that Memorial Day is later this month, but the 4th of July, or Independence Day, is in July. So that awesome craft, the red, white, and blue craft that we made, could be used to celebrate both of those holidays, which I think is so cool. So I, I want to make sure that you guys do that really fun, awesome craft. Now let's sing our song. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year. Again, 
January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year. Yay, you did it. Good job, boys and girls. You guys are getting so good at learning your months and learning your days of the year. Now let's stop and let's look out the window and see what the weather is like today. I know that the weather is getting more beautiful outside and I'm really happy that it is. I love the warm weather and I'm sure you guys do too. We get to play outside and enjoy the beautiful weather. Now today it looks a little cloudy outside, but I'm still going to try to spend as much time as I can outside before it starts raining. What is the weather like where you are? Thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate it. You guys are doing so awesome. Let's move on to counting to 100. We're going to count by tens today. Remember when we count by tens, we're counting all the way on the right side. All these numbers will start at 10, go to 100. Ready? Count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Let's do it again. Ready? Count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Very good, boys and girls. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much for coming to our final morning meeting. Let's jump right into our Memorial Day and 4th of July craft. I am really excited for that, and I hope you are too. Again, I just want to say thank you so much for coming to these, all of these morning meeting videos. I hope that I helped you to learn some things like your months of the year, your days of the week, the calendar counting, the weather. I hope that you learned all of that stuff. And I know that I did. I had so much fun learning with you guys. I hope you have an amazing summer. Remember to come back to my channel to do some of the awesome activities that we have done. Make sure you watch my activity videos. You can still watch my morning meeting videos in the summer. Remember to keep learning even though it is summer. We do want to keep learning and keep our brains active. It is so important. I really appreciate you guys. Make sure you come to my channel tomorrow. I am posting a video to say goodbye and thank you to you guys for an awesome, awesome couple of months of videos. I had so much fun and I hope that you guys did too. I hope you all learned something. I know that I did. I appreciate every single one of you and I am so thankful for you guys. So make sure you check out my channel tomorrow and I will see you then. Thank you so much for coming to Miss G's Learning Center. Have an awesome summer. Bye. Hi boys and girls. For today's craft, we are getting ready for Memorial Day, which is coming up, and the 4th of July, which is going to be a little bit further away than July, but I thought it could be a nice two-in-one craft. So, we are getting started with a blue piece of paper. If you just have white, that's okay too. I'm just using blue printer paper. Construction paper would work. White piece of paper, whatever you have, we will make it work. I also have a popsicle stick. This is a red one, as you could tell. If you just have a regular one, that is fine. If you don't even have one, that's okay. You can make one out of paper by simply just folding your paper up until it kind of looks like a rectangle and it is going to be used as our flagpole. So let me show you what we are going to do. We are painting our hand. We are making sure that we are wearing older clothes and that an adult is there to paint our hand for us because we do not want to get anything ruined. So if you're doing this for Memorial Day or for the 4th of July, you want to make sure that somebody's there with you to help you out with this. So I'm starting by grabbing three different paint brushes. If you just have one, that's okay. I have the colors blue, white, and red because we know red, white, and blue are the colors of America. So I'm going to start by painting the big part or the palm of my hand blue. So I'm grabbing a paintbrush and painting the palm of my hand blue. I'm going to do my left hand. So today we are going to be making a flag out of our hands. So like I said, we are getting started by just painting the palm of our hand blue. So once the palm's done, then we'll move on. So we aren't painting any of our fingers yet. We're just starting with the palm of our hand. So it's going to look like this. So we are done with the blue and we're going to move on. 
So I'm going to start with red. Once again, make sure that an adult is there to do this for you because we don't want to get paint all over ourselves. We're going to get the red and we'll put it on every other finger. So I'm going to start with my pinky. Then I will do my middle finger and I will do my thumb. So we're just spreading the paint out evenly on every other finger. Like I said, I did thumb, middle finger, and pinky. So it will end up looking like this. Once you're done with that, then you'll get your white and you're going to do the same thing. So I have my white paint, shake it up real good. Have an adult do this for you. It gets really hard to do it by yourself because you do have wet hands. Like I said, it's just easier if we have an adult do it. But do the same thing with the white and we'll do the other two fingers, which are our pointer finger and our ring finger. So when we're done, we should have a red, white, and blue hand. And this is what it's going to look like, guys. And we're done. And we want to work quickly. We don't want the paint to dry. We're going to go ahead and stamp it right onto our paper. And I'm going to put my thumb down because it's going to be known as part of the flagpole. Part of our red flagpole. So this is what we want it to look like. So I just went and washed my hands. Now this is really, can be really difficult because like I said, everything needs to be wet when you're doing this. So since we are using three colors of paint, it is difficult because we wanna make sure that we get all of those colors on the paper. And if we take our time and wait too long, it's going to dry. We need to make sure that all the colors are wet. That's why we do need an adult to be there to make sure that everything goes quickly and it stays wet. So it'll end up looking like this. So we have, these are our stripes on our flag. Right here, this is where we're going to put the stars. So you can go ahead and either get white paint, white marker, or you can just use black, whatever you want. And we're going to make some stars on there. Even if you have star stickers, that will work. I actually do have some star stickers, so I'm going to use those. And like I said, this red is going to be part of the flagpole where our finger is. So I'm just going to add the flag flagpole right there. I have glue with me. If you don't have glue, that's okay. You could use some tape. Like I said, if you don't have a craft stick, you could also just use a piece of paper. You could even just cut a piece of paper off the end and add it to the bottom to make it the flagpole. But I do have a craft stick, so I'm going to use that. I'm gluing it on and then I will let it dry. This is what it's going to end up looking like. Like I said, I will let it dry and then I'm adding my stars on. So I will see you when this all dries and show you what it looks like. So this is what our flag looks like. So we have our flagpole here. We have our stars. Now there are supposed to be 50 stars for the 50 states in America, but I did not have room for all of them. And then also there are supposed to be 13 lines, but we just did four because we have four fingers, but the 13 stripes are supposed to stand for the 13 colonies that declared independence from the kingdom of Britain. Now we just wanted to make a flag and write this quote just to say a big thank you to all of our vets out there. It says showing our red, white, and blue to say thank you. This is just us expressing how grateful we are for all of the hard work that you have done throughout your life. You are so amazing and you have done so much for so many people and that means the world to us. We appreciate everyone for keeping us safe and we wish that you could be safe and happy for the rest of your lives. We salute you, we thank you. You might know somebody that has served your country before. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. Awesome. I know there are so many awesome people that serve our countries. You might have grandparents or parents that have served our country and we could just owe them a big thank you because they have done so much to keep us safe and protect us. And we need to thank them for all of their efforts and hard work. So thank you so much to all of those wonderful people that have served our country. We appreciate and notice everything that you have done for us and are forever grateful. I hope that you have an amazing Memorial Day. Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. Thank a veteran. Have a great day. Bye.
Thank you so much for coming to Miss Shoes Learning Center. I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe down below if you haven't already. Once you subscribe, you will see a notification button. It looks like a bell, so go ahead and click that button and you will get notifications whenever I post a video. I post morning meetings every weekday and I post fun activities and experiments on Tuesdays and Thursdays so you do not want to miss those so make sure that you subscribe and turn the notifications on. Also make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and share it with anyone that you think could benefit from these videos. I'm just trying to spread positivity and kindness and I hope that everyone is staying happy and healthy during these times. Have a great rest of your day.